today we're going to be reviewing some new Christmas items in the makeup world. Uh, last year I reviewed the Bite Beauty four little mini bite lipsticks. Uh, I was about ready to place my order this year when I noticed that Ofra had little sets, two little sets with four mini lipsticks in it. And I like Ofra's liquid lip liquid lipstick formulas. If you've never tried it, I don't know why you haven't, but if you haven't tried them, they go on like a liquid lipstick, but they, they dry down, but not all the way to where they're not completely transfer proof. They dry down enough that you're not going to smudge it all over, but they're really good not to show texture and wrinkles and creases in your lips. So I like them because they don't dry it out to the point of no return. So I was like, oh, do I get the bite? Do I get the Ofra? Well, the Ofra won. And they had two tree. They had two sets. I shouldn't say trios. There's four in each one. I decided to get the Fireside Hotties because the colors sounded more Tony-ish. And here's what you get. Hopefully, I don't blind you with that holographic stuff. But we get uh, Aspen, Sedona, Palo Alto, and Portland. So let's go through all these. I'm going to swatch them on my hands and do it on my lips. If you can even tell what color is what, and we'll, we'll talk about each one. Aren't these just the cutest little things ever? I love mini lipsticks because I never go through a full size. So this way I can get a whole bunch of different colors. And I, you know what? I'll probably never go through these two. But here's the first guy in this one. Let me read here. This one's Aspen and it says it's sip hot cocoa and watch the slopes in this cool mauve pink nude. And that's exactly how I would describe it. Describe it. It's a cool toned mauve color. Let's do a quick swatch right here. Okay. Hmm. I think it smells like vanilla maybe. I think my other ones do too. I just wasn't sure if that's vanilla. It smells like a sweet, sweet something. Okay, and here we go. This is the Aspen, and this is a nice, just everyday nude shade. I will wear this. I don't wear pinks a whole lot. I think everybody knows that, but this is a cool tone. I think this looks fine on me, so I will get a little bit of use out of this. The next one in the pack is Sedona, and it describes this one as a warm nude brown. Uh, maybe um, it looks a little more mauvey than just a neutral brown, but let's see how it looks compared to the other one, I guess. Uh, it looks a little uh, warmer than the mauve. So I'm going to call this maybe a warm mauve. It doesn't look so brownish to me. But let's see what it looks like on. Well, I guess once it gets on, it does look a little more on the brown side. Like a warm tan. Yeah, I think this is a very nice color and it's going to look really good coming up in the fall. Now I'm going to go out of order here a little bit. I'm, I'm doing the last one next and there's a reason for that. But this one's called Portland and this is a cool mocha brown. Oh, my swatches are the worst. But yeah, that looks uh, like a cool brown shade. Let me... This is Portland. Now this is a little dark, I think, and I know this, these bright lights are making it look a little lighter, but I think that this is a little vampy for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or give it away to somebody, but it's a nice shade. Maybe if I was a little more tan and not so ghostly white and pale, it wouldn't look quite as stark as it does, but it is a very nice shade of brown, I think. And if you're a little deeper than me, you're going to really like this a lot. Now the last guy in the pack, and the reason I'm doing this last is I want to compare it to a couple of the other things I have, but this one is Palo Alto, and this is a brick red orange, my favorite. And I'm going to compare this to two other ones I have that um, I would describe the same, so we'll see what this looks like compared to them. Oh, I love it. It matches my shirt, matches my hair, matches everything. All right, so let's get this on and see how it looks. I absolutely love it, of course. And you know what this reminds me of? Um, a couple years back, 
Too Faced had the Gingerbread Man liquid lipstick, which I will insert a picture up here. I owned this for a month or so, but I ended up handing it off to one of my friends because their liquid lipsticks are the ones that really dry down and just suck the life out of your lips. So I passed it along only because it just, it was uncomfortable for me to wear. It wasn't the color. I love the color, but I'm pretty sure this might be exactly the same. Not 100% because I don't have it, of course, to put side by side. But as soon as I put this on, I'm like, hey, that reminds me of that Too Faced holiday Christmas shade. So that's just something to keep in mind if you don't like the Too Faced formula. Uh, and this is supposed to be a new shade. I'm assuming they're going to be coming out with a full size here shortly. But uh, yeah, so this one is the Palo Alto. If you were looking for that uh, Too Faced shade. I love it, of course. Absolutely love it. So now let me swatch two of the other ones I have that I think are pretty close to this, but let's compare just to see. Now that full size one, and this is in the old packaging, of course, this is the Miami, oh, you can't even see that, but this is Miami Fever, and this was an original collab with Kathleen Lights, and they came out with it permanently because everybody loved it. And this is a orange shade also, but yeah, okay, see, this is a lot lighter. There's not as much red in this Miami Fever shade. Uh, maybe a little closer to this, but this one up here is more pink than that. But I do love this. This is one of my favorites. And then the other one I have is Americano. This is, it's like a reddish brick color. I have a feeling that this one right here is probably the color if you put Miami Fever and this Americana together. But let's see. Well, no, it's still even a little more brighter red than that. So this is a brick. This is an orange. This is a brick red shade. All three of them, I think, are different. So you're not going to overlap if you happen to get this set and or any of them individually. But I'm going to love all three. So there you go. There is just a mini little review or just so everybody can see these colors in this. And this is the Fireside Hotties. There's another one. I forget the name of it. I'll put it up here. Maybe a little picture. I think they were more pinker tones. And I seen the orange red brick color in this Fireside one. And I thought, well, that's the one I'm getting. So, and I still might get the little bite one that has four. But they looked awfully pink too. And last year there was... There was a lot of pink and I ended up handing a couple of them away. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or what I'm going to do. But, you know, who knows? My next review is probably going to be the bite ones. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.